Hi everyone, in this video I will go over a problem with you in Excel that will show you how you can determine what portion of your loan payment is going towards paying the principal and what portion is going towards making the interest payments. Similar problems have also appeared in the quantitative methods section of CFA level 1 exam. So Nikita and Arnold borrowed $15,000 to help finance their wedding reception. The loan carries a term of seven years and an 11% interest rate. The loan also calls for annual payments. The question is what portion of the first payment went towards paying the principal and then what portion of their second payment went towards paying the interest. Now to help you understand this, what I've done is that I've constructed a table with year amount outstanding, the payments, the principal paid and the interest paid. So the years represent basically the term of the loan going out to seven years. The amount outstanding is going to be the loan that you need to repay by the end of each year. You'll be making payments every year. And I'm going to show you how you can figure out what portion of the payment is going towards the principal and what portion is going towards the interest. Naturally, as you're going to be paying down the principal, the amount outstanding is going to reduce over time. So today, with just time period zero, the amount outstanding is basically $15,000. That's the amount of the loan. Now, in Excel, in order to figure out how much you need to pay at the end of each year, in this case, there is a simple function called the payment function. You have a similar function in financial calculators as well. So you do equal to PMT. For rate, you enter the annual interest rate, which in this case is 11%. Now in Excel, you enter this as 11% or 0.11. This is important. The number of time periods represents the term of the loan, which in this case is seven. This is given. And the total loan that you're getting today represents the present value, which in this case is $15,000 because I want my payments to appear as a positive number, I will enter this as negative 15,000. And so this then is the annual payment that Nikita and Arnold would need to make, $3,183 at the end of every year for the next seven years. So I'm gonna copy this and paste this through and through. Now, while the payment that these two individuals are making at the end of every year is fixed, the portion that is going towards the principal and the portion that is going towards the interest is changing over time. Specifically, when the loan is in its early stages, a smaller portion is going towards the principal and a larger portion is going towards the interest. But as you start paying down the loan over time, a greater portion of that same payment goes towards the principal and therefore less goes towards the interest. Now at the end of the first year, it is actually pretty easy to figure out how much interest you owe. You know that you borrowed $15,000 at 11% interest rate. So by the end of the first year, the interest that you would owe would be 0.11 times the $15,000, which is 1,650. When you will make a payment of $3,183 off that amount, $1,650 would have gone purely towards the interest, which means that the principal that you would pay down would be this minus $1,650. This is the principal paid. And because you have paid down this principal by the end of the first year, the total amount outstanding, this is the loan that you now owe, would be 15,000 minus the amount that you have paid towards the principal. And it is this amount which will then determine your interest. Basically, by the end of the second year, you would owe 11% on this amount, which means that a greater portion of this 3,183 would be going towards the principal. And you can carry on this math. However, it's gonna take you a long time. Why? Because you need to figure out how much you owe at the end of each year, which will then determine how much you owe in interest at the end of each year, which will help determine the principal paid. It is a little bit time consuming. Fortunately, in Excel, there are simple commands that can help you do this calculation much more quickly. There is a simple command called PPMT, not PMT, but PPMT, which is principal portion of the payment. When you invoke this function, it asks you for similar information, which is the interest rate, which is 0.11 or 11%, 
but then it asks you which period, P-E-R, not N-P-E-R, which is the term of the loan, but period. Period is referring to which specific year are we talking about. As you know, the amount that is going towards the principal is changing every year. So in this case, I'm going to specify this as one because I'm trying to figure out what portion of my payment is going towards the principal in the first payment or in the first year that I'm making the payment. The number of time periods, which is the term of the loan, is seven, and the present value of the loan is 15,000, which again, I'm gonna enter as a negative number. And so when I do this, 1533.23, this is exactly the answer that we had gotten when we did our somewhat lengthier calculation. You have a similar function in Excel to figure out the interest portion of the payment, and that quite conveniently is called IPMT, which is the interest portion of the payment. When you do this, the inputs are similar. For rate, you will put in 11%, 0.11. Period, again, is going to be this one because we're interested in knowing what portion of the payment is going towards interest in the first year. The number of time periods is seven, and the loan amount is negative $15,000. And when you will do this, you'll get the exact 1650. By definition, the sum of these two numbers, the interest paid and the principal paid will add up to 3183, which is the total payment that you're making. So now you can literally copy these two formulae and paste them through and through. As you will paste them down in Excel, the cell reference will keep on changing to year two, year three, year four. So we'll be able to figure out what portion of the payment is going towards principal and interest in each of these years. And so here you are. If you calculate the amount outstanding at the end of the first year, that's equal to 15,000, which is what you started the year with, minus how much you paid back, which is 1533. So this is the amount outstanding. I can now copy this formula and paste it all the way down till the end of seven years. Notice that over time, as you're paying down the principal, the loan outstanding is getting reduced. And by the end of the seven years, the total amount outstanding is indeed $0. In finance, this is also known as a loan amortization schedule, which lays out how the loan is going to be paid off over time and what portion is going to go towards principal and interest. But, but this is more information than you needed to answer this question. The first question was, what portion of the first payment went towards paying the principal? Well, it was $1,533.23. What portion of the second payment went towards paying the interest? The second payment was this one. $1,481.34. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.